Hello YouTubers, just doing a quick video. The Panasonic HCX2000, my camcorder, uh, has had another firmware update from Panasonic. So um, all you need to do is download it from the website. Um, I'll put the links in description. You'll get this file here, uh, an update.hdc file. You just drag that onto the SD card that goes in your camcorder. You don't need to format it or do anything with the card as long as the card um, has been the camcorder and is formatted for the camcorder it's it's already formatted and ready to be used so on here it's on my macbook i've plugged it into the side port here it's come up with a folder and i've just dragged this update file into there so that's ready so i can now safely um, eject that so let's just eject the card lovely so i can now pull that out of here safely Right, now I've got to plug it into the camcorder and power that on, so let's get that done. Okay, so we're now into part two. Um, so the card is in slot A, it needs to be in slot A for this process to work. So let's just power the camera on. Okay, so then we need to bring up the menu. I haven't used this camera in a while. The menu, as I remember, is in a weird place. I think I can just double tap, yeah tap on the screen uh, then you need to go to menu stop it was it hold and press yeah menu and then we need to go to information which is its system nope go back other uh, do, 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 do. information there we go and here it says um, version, which is what it's currently on. So it's 1.4 and the download is 1.6. So we'll just go back, update, yes. Please wait. Now you want to make sure you've got at least half a battery really uh, safely or, you know, to play it really safe. Um, as you're saying here, it's update 1.4 to 1.6, set. Um, even safer, obviously, plugging into the mains. But this is the update process in real time. Sorry for the shaky hands. Uh, can't do much about that. I'm filming with the phone. Just, just as a sort of raw off the cuff video showing you how to do this process. But yeah, it's very, very quick. Um, Panasonic, download the uh, file, unzip it, put it wherever you want to have that file ready to put onto the SD card, plug in the SD card. Chuck that file over and away you go. Nearly done. That hopefully is the update process complete. It's making all the noises. Update is complete, 1.6. So at that point, that's going to go to format. I'll just get rid of the um, file, well, format the card. As I say, it has to be in slot A, slot one for this to work. Set, please wait. Finished. Jobs are good. Camera's ready to operate as usual. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. So here, just to show you on the website, um, as you can see, um, I'll go back a page actually, because it's updated. So here, um, top one for the HDX2000. Version here it says it's HDX1500 and 2000, which is what I've got. And the new version is 1.6 download. That will go through the information of what's new. Um, basically, they've added live video support um, for the app, which allows you the Panasonic app, this one, the HC-ROP. Weird naming of Panasonic, don't get me started on that. Um, when you've got the app, you can now use it to um, see the camcorder in live view. Uh, and then it's just sort of bug fixes and, and the like. But uh, yeah, once you, you're happy that you want to do that, you go to the bottom of the page, agree, download, which I don't need to do because I've already done, and you'll get that zip file. And then you just un, um, what's it called? Unzip it and then just copy the raw file directly to uh, your SD card. Hope that helps.